I'm Isabel from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you, Dan. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, your own experience in the expedition um, and kind of what made you want to do that in the first place? Um, obviously, you know, it's a, it's a real challenge as well. So can you talk us through that? When I was a little boy, I dreamt about going on an expedition where there would be sailors and there would be engineers, there would be scientists and marine biologists and the people of different disciplines, all the best in their fields. And together they would explore something. I thought about Captain Cook or I thought about the great explorers of the past and then I found myself in my 40s on an expedition just like that and I couldn't believe it I thought if the young Dan could suit me now I'd be so happy here we are in the Antarctic surrounded by whales and penguins and extraordinary sea life and we're looking for this impossible to find shipwreck on 3,000 meters down the seabed and we've got the best marine archaeologists we've got the best subsea specialists we've got the best sailors and engineers and so it was, a, it was the best professional experience of my life as I always say to my wife uh, and it was uh, just a huge huge privilege. Can you tell us also, I mean obviously there were some challenges with filming there as well and it must have made you kind of step back into thinking oh my god the stuff that he himself went through so what were some of those sort of prevailing difficulties? Shackleton faced enormous difficulties he faced some of the most harshest conditions that any human can survive on this planet he faced incredible cold, he faced towering seas, he was as far from when we were down in the Weddell Sea the nearest human beings to us were on the International Space station. So Shackleton was one of the most remote humans on the planet at the time um, and somehow he survived. And you know usually when I go to places for TV and film and stuff and I go and visit places, I get, I get more of an understanding of what went on there. On this occasion I went down there and I've got less than understanding. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he survived. Can you talk us through that moment when you actually saw the ship come to life in front of your eyes and then obviously the detail of the 3D robots I think that went down there and kind of captured the plates and all of that. What was that like? Like, what was that moment like for you? When I saw Endurance, where well, the drone was travelling over the seabed, it was featureless. And suddenly we hit this wooden wall. You could see the brass, and what looked like brass or gold. And it was the little rivets holding the planks to the side of the ship. And then we moved around the stern and we saw the brass letters Endurance on the stern. It was the best experience. I've never been involved in anything like it. It was like we were in that little room, we had a little secrets that one day the rest of the world would find out about. But for that few seconds, those few hours, we alone in that room knew what was on the seabed beneath us. And now the whole world does. There's nothing else like it. I mean, obviously, there's this amazing documentary now that brings together the, both the, the historic elements and modern as well by using AI and, and obviously modern footage. Um, so what do you hope viewers will, will think when they watch this? What do you hope that they will, will feel? I hope that their viewers will feel a connection with one of the most extraordinary extraordinary stories in history. I hope that they will realise what is possible when you put some of the greatest minds together in a room, when you bring people together from all continents and show what human beings can do when we collaborate. I hope people will be inspired by that and I hope people will just enjoy. Like, art is there to be enjoyed. This model is there to make us lift our eyes from the daily grind and realise there's, there's beauty in this world. As a historian yourself, is there anything that you would like to explore further? Any sort of projects or any anything that you yourself are sort of waiting to challenge yourself with? It never ends. There are shipwrecks littering the ocean floors of this planet. There are more artefacts on the seabed than there are in all the museums of the world put together. There are still pharaoh's tombs to be discovered in Egypt. There is so much out there I could fill a hundred lifetimes and it's incredibly exciting. Thank you so much for speaking to me and Joe Reading. Thank you so much.